How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. About a month ago I made a video talking about new rate structures and new joint operation structures. Well with 2.5 almost seemingly pretty much, I'm not going to say confirmed, but almost a done deal c combining 2.5 and 2.6. It seems like the next update is going to be rather big, not only in terms of the fact that we're getting a new world boss, we're getting a new area, but also the quality of life improvements. And one of those areas that that quality of life improvement is coming is of course the joint operations. Now in joint operation in CN in 2.6, there were some big, big changes. And we're hoping that if there is a merger of 2.5 and 2.6 in terms of updates, we are going to get it in 2.5. If it's not in 2.5, it'll definitely land in 2.6. But as things are looking, 2.5 and 2.6 more than likely will be combined. Now, what are these big changes? Looking at the new joint operation, it will no longer be possible to select any type of joint operation. Gone are going to be the days where you can actually select the ones you want, but instead there will be a single joint operation for all. This will not only increase, you know, variety of joint operations, allow you to do joint operations on any given day, but also mean that those that are new to the game and have started fresh will always have someone to do the content with. Now it is worth mentioning that not all joint operations will be available to players under level 75. If you are under level 75 you will have a select number of joint operations available but the ones that are 75 plus will only be available to those that are 75 plus. There will be no normalization of your level. Now the difficulty of joint operations is going to be dynamic. The difficulty of creatures are affected by the number of people in the group, the average combat score, and the value of the type of resonance of the participants, whether it's DPS, Fortitude, or Blessing. Now, if you go all Blessing, then you're going to have a different scaling. If you go all Fortitude, it will be different scaling. If you have all DPS, there will be different scaling. And of course, if you have a balanced, it will be different scaling. So no matter which way you go, the difficulty of the actual encounter will vary depending on what your team formation is. Now, in regards to matrices, one out of nine attempts from the standard pool will drop from the chest and will be completely random. Now, currently you have to go up to, I think it's about 33 in order to hit hard pity. This seems to be going down to nine. So it's increasing the number of standard matrices that you can get throughout the game. We've seen it already increase in fishing where you can get one a week. You can get some uh, if you're lucky in void rifts. But having another way to get it that is more accessible, like the joint operations, is always a good thing. Now they are going to remove the elemental resistance in some joint operations. Instead what they're going to have is a random element that will receive a 35% buff to damage dealt. This is pretty cool and it does just allow you to mix it up. Now starting with difficulty 6 you can choose one of the following. Increase the drop rate of equipment of a specific element be it physical, flame, vault or frost or you can increase the chance of dropping a particular type of equipment for example gloves now this is actually pretty sweet because it does allow you to target specific gear for it to drop if you're looking for that belt to drop then you can target the belt and have that belt and hopefully you'll get some nice stats from it but the changes here are pretty sweet but that's not where it ends Starting from difficulty 6, you can get two fragments of Haboella matrices or Scylla matrices. Now you do need a hundred of these, so you'll need to run it 50 times. But every time you hit that magic 100 number, you'll be able to create a matrix for the specific boss. So if you get a hundred Haboella ones, you'll be able to create a hundred Haboella. If you get a hundred Scylla, you can create a hundred Scylla. That's, in my opinion, really, really nice. And... You know, maybe there'll be ways to speed that up as well, but 50 runs isn't that much, especially considering the cost of it and the bit. You can do 6 a day, 12 if you've been saving. That's not bad at all. Finally, when starting the search for a team for joint operations, you will need to select one or two of the desired roles. DPS, Fortitude or Blessing. One of these or two of these will need to be selected which is perfectly fine. It now basically tries to put you in with a defined role and a defined setup, which is how it always should have been. But yeah, those are the changes coming to joint operation. I really hope 
that they're going to come soon because these changes are desperately needed. I, like many, would like to do my joint operations on any day and be able to get items that I like. But currently the way it works, my main game days are Mondays and Fridays for Tower of Fantasy. I do get a couple of hours in throughout the week on each day to try and just do some stuff that I need to do. But it would be nice to be able to just do those joint operations for the loot that I need for my class anytime. And this change is going to allow that. Well, that's it for the video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let's have that discussion and I will see you in the next one. As always, remain legend.